While campaigning to regain the US presidency, Donald Trump said that he would be able to end Russia's war in Ukraine in 24 hours. And it will take me no longer than one day. He warned that Israel would be, quote, eradicated if he lost the election. And you can't let that happen. And he vowed sweeping new tariffs on Chinese imports. I'm going to put tariffs on other countries. What does his US election victory mean in a turbulent world? Trump's response to Russia's war in Ukraine could set the tone for his agenda. Under President Joe Biden, the US poured in tens of billions of dollars in military and financial aid. Trump criticized the level of US support for Ukraine's war effort and promised to end the conflict before he takes office in January. But he didn't explain how. Political analyst Volodymyr Fesenko says Trump is likely to push for swift talks to end the war. But he says some concessions will be made, as Trump wants a quick result. NATO, which backs Ukraine, is also under threat. Trump had warned that he would not only refuse to defend nations, quote, delinquent on funding, but would encourage Russia to do, quote, whatever the hell they want to them. Trump will also confront a volatile Middle East that threatens to descend into a broader regional conflict. Israel is fighting wars in Gaza and Lebanon while facing off against Iran. Trump is expected to continue arming Israel. His policy toward Israel will likely have no strings attached for humanitarian concerns. I'm sure Netanyahu is pleased to see Trump rather than Harris heading for the White House. Bronwyn Maddox is the director of the Chatham House think tank. Trump could make this better or he could make it an awful lot worse. Trump pledges to impose a tough stance on China, meaning he would ramp up tariffs on Chinese goods. I believe that Trump's threat of 60% tariffs will likely happen. Han Shen Lin is the China country director at the Asia Group. As far as China's exports are concerned, by far the largest market is US and Europe. And so they don't necessarily want to fight a two-front war in that trade space. On the other side, Trump has presented a mixed message. He described Chinese President Xi Jinping as, quote, brilliant for ruling with an iron fist and said democratically governed Taiwan, which China claims as its territory, should pay the US for defense. Another unknown is how Trump will craft his national security team. Many critics believe he will avoid bringing in mainstream Republicans who sometimes acted as guardrails in his first term.